young boys walked into the pastor's office on this fateful day. They were young, ambitious, and they needed money. They were talented instrumentalists who needed cash for service in church. They were no doubt church boys, but on this day, they wore upon their forefront their proper name and title. They wanted to play for the church and get paid. The pastor did not mince words in telling them that the church does not pay musicians to work for God. Your talent was given to you by God and he expects you to use it to bless his body. He told them in no uncertain terms that their reward was God determined and would be God supplied. Of course, this did not go down well with the young boys and I can only imagine their disappointment. The pastor asked them to leave if his counsel did not go down well with them. One left. The other stayed back. Not only did he stay back, he threw himself into God's work, using his talents to bless the body of Christ. Soon he was known and he began to carve a niche for himself. In no time at all, offers started rolling in, all with their mouths watering. He got a record deal to veer of gospel music and gospel work. The package was jaw-dropping for a young boy who used to help his mother sell her wares in a local market. A car, a two-bedroom apartment, two million naira, and it was a long list. This same pastor who gave him the option of walking away from the church has now become his pastor and mentor. When this boy took the record deal to him, he said, I kept the documents aside and didn't even touch it again because that wasn't what God showed me about this young boy. When he kept pestering me to get my blessings concerning the deal, I gave him my two-bedroom BQ and tried to stay him off the lures of the world. Let me call this very long story short. Last Sunday, the world literally <laughs> stood still Only at the album matter. launch or concert of this boy who has now sense. become a household name. At the launch, he got a plot of land in a choice area in Abuja. He was given 50 scholarships. Yes, 50. People launched his album in dollars. $10,000, $5,000. It was a forex rain like I had never seen before. He for so much and that is putting it mildly. Today he is a household name just because he refused to leave. Just because he was humble enough to put down his head under a mentor who appeared insensitive at the beginning. So I paused to wonder where the other guy who walked away is today. It doesn't matter, does it? We don't know him. This is an attempt at summarizing the inspiring story of Moses Bliss, the gospel music sensation. The man who wrote them in was Pastor Chris Oyakilume. Thanks for watching. Drop your thoughts and what you feel about Moses Bliss and his mentor in our comment section.